cry when I see it. It was a treat for me to be able to revisit this story and also uh, hang out with Michael Sutton again. Yeah, it was my pleasure. <laughs> it was great. We, we, we had a good time doing it. Um, the connection was there. It was remarkable to kind of still have that after 15 years and be able to tap back into it. it I think it's going to translate. I think people are going to be really happy to see us on screen together. At, at this point, what, what, what has happened with Robin is she finally ha had faith in having a relationship again and she got married, she has a child, and really had the perfect life, had a wonderful career, and then all of a sudden, it was gone. And uh, I think that she's going back to trying to find trust and faith um, in another person, and when she had that in the purest form, that, that was stone, that was, you know, true love. And so in order to move forward, sometimes you, you have to go back and kind of reclaim yourself. And I think that's what she's, she's trying to do when she envisions Stone. I think that our characters were so connected that, you know, the fans from 15 years ago would expect that, you know, to draw on from some strength and a source like, like our characters had. And um, that, that innocent love that, you know, will always exist in everybody. So I think everybody can relate to that and finding that strength and faith when you're kind of in doubt or in jeopardy. And uh, I think it, it, it was a beautiful thing to kind of just find that within Robin, you know, and kind of just being, being reinforced by, by someone or some spirit that you loved. You need to see me for who I was. And you need to let me go. Or you really cannot move on. <laughs>